the judge rejected a request from Puigdemont to testify via video conference from Belgium. Embroiled in Spain's gravest political crisis since the return of democracy in the late 1970s, Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy called the election when he took control of Catalonia in response to last week's declaration of independence by its parliament. Belgium, where a European arrest warrant can be blocked for several mainly procedural reasons, will have a maximum of three months to decide whether to send Puigdemont back to Spain. On Thursday, nine members of his sacked cabinet were ordered by the High Court to be held in custody pending an investigation and potential trial. We consider ourselves a legitimate government, Puigdemont told Belgian state television RTBF on Friday. There must be a continuity to tell the world what's going on in Spain. It's not with a government in jail that the elections will be neutral, independent, normal. I am ready to be a candidate, it's possible to run a campaign from anywhere. General strike call in protest at the jailings. Catalan civic groups Azamli Nacional Catalana and Omnium Cultural, whose leaders were imprisoned last month on sedition charges, called for a general strike on November 8 and a mass demonstration on November 11. Another six Catalan leaders are due to testify on November 9 on the same charges. One member of the dismissed cabinet, Santi Vila, was released after paying bail of €50,000, $58,300, on Friday. The other eight could remain in custody for up to four years. Vila stepped down from the Catalan cabinet before the independence declaration. While he remains a supporter of an secession he has advocated a negotiated solution with the central government. He has said he wanted to stand as the leading candidate for Puigdemont's parade cat, Catalan Democratic Party, in the regional election. Thousands of people staged pro-independence protests on Thursday night in several Catalan towns, and parties forming the current coalition Junts Pel S.I., together for Yes, are pushing to run again on a joint ticket at the election. An opinion poll published on Tuesday showed Junts Pel S.I. would win in December with 35.2% if the vote was held immediately and would likely reach a parliamentary majority if it stuck with its current pact with far-left party cup. The Spanish government said on Friday it would have no option but to open talks within the law with those who held a majority. Some even mentioned the idea of a federal model so that regions can have more autonomy, including financially.